This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm taking a look at the Fix Dry NT1 Double Filament Dryer. I was lucky enough where Fix Dry sent me a model to test. I'm not being compensated, and I was asked to give an honest review. And so I thought we'd talk about this today and take a look at the features. As I mentioned, this is the Fix Dry Two Spool NT1 Filament Dryer. Looking at the specifications, I'm really pleased by this. At this point in my 3D printing career, I have multiple printers and I print a lot of PLA. And for me, being able to dry two rolls of filament simultaneously is really important. And at this point, I don't think I'd buy a, I'd really push to buy, or I was gonna buy a filament dryer, one that does two rolls simultaneously. So looking at this, this checks all the boxes for me. Uh, the price is actually pretty good. It's on sale right now. If I scroll down, you can look at the specifications and all that good stuff. I took a quick look over at Amazon, and currently it looks like it's $90. So it's about $10 or $11 more expensive over on Amazon. But you have those options. And Fix Dry was nice enough to send me a coupon code that you can use if you're interested in buying this unit. So let's switch over and do an un unboxing. Okay, so here's the unit. Now it arrived in this box. It's a little banged up here, but I believe it's packed really well. And yes, it is packed really well. So let's take this out. And of course, here's the, the plastic cover. I'm gonna put that aside. And let me put inside the box. Now, as you can see, my daughter's cat has decided to pay a visit. Um, I am now surrounded by animals. I have more animals than people in the house. Um, so here's the base of the unit. Let me put the camera down. And again, we have a cat. Taking a look at things, we'll move her out of the way. That is Sweetie, by the way. And then let me put the top on. It's just like that. And that has a nice electronic screen here. And let's take that off. And what I'm going to do is let me pick up two rolls of filament and let's see if they just fit in there if there's anything I need to do. So let's take the top off. So I have my acidity PLA plus that I really like. I'm gonna put that in and then I have a roll of rainbow PLA and I think I mentioned to people I do a lot of STEM outreach. And so I print all sorts of stuff for kids uh, as part of that STEM outreach and talk about 3D printers and, and making stuff. I got something hung up here. Oh, there we go. I think I was just caught on a piece of filament. Yeah. So two rolls are fitting comfortably in there. Let's see if we can power this on. Well, might help to plug it in. I apologize, I'm a little scatterbrained today. It's been a long week, been a long week at work. But the whole reason I do 3D printing is to relax. And this is a hobby I love. So let's back this out a little bit. I'm going to tilt this down so we can see. Oops. Tilt it a little more. Lay us up. Oh, wait. Let's see what I can do here. There we go. Oh. Might help. Let's move the camera around a little bit. There we go. And I'll get a little closer. Let me go down. And again, I apologize. This is not how I normally do things, but I'm a little exasperated today. Now, this is starting, and it started off at 
50C, which is about correct. And I believe this is showing nine hours. Let's take a look at the directions and we'll figure out how to set this thing. And then we'll take a look. Now I should also point out, it looks like there's plenty of holes here where I can put in some PTFE tubing and then run the filament right out of the dryer, which again, I really like. So let me pause and let's take a look at the directions. So I'm gonna make a quick change here. I'm gonna take the shroud off. So I'm gonna take the shroud off and then it comes with this little shroud, this little piece. And you put this in and it snaps into the bottom. And what that's doing is if I'm just drying the filament, it's keeping the air from basically just messing with one area of the filament. If I'm drying and printing, I don't need the shroud because the, the filament's gonna be moving and not just one area, with one area on the filament exposed to the heat. So that's actually pretty smart. So I'm gonna put, since I'm just drying this, put the, the piece in there, and then let's put the cover back on. And then, well, let's get the filament in. Push the top in, and that seals really well. And then let's look at the controls. So on and off, right now it's set to 50 degrees. And I can sit here when I click this, I can change the temperature, click it again. Now I can change the time. In my case, I wanna do five hours. Click again and change the minutes. And I'll just do it at five. So I'm just gonna let it go. And right now it's showing it's at 48% and I'm gonna let this dry for five hours and we can basically come back and take a look at what, what percentage we have changed in the humidity in with the filament. Now right now, this is super easy to use. It feels sturdy. I really like it. Pleased with it. Fix Dry sent me a single filament dryer before and I actually let a friend uh, use that who was just getting into 3D printing and he's been pretty pleased with it. But I think I'm gonna wind up keeping this one because I said I really like the two rolls. I'm not gonna bother uh, with measuring the humidity, the wet, water weight of the filament right now. I actually think that, that uh, most of my filament now is, is I've been keeping it a lot drier. If you hear any noise in the background, that's actually my printers. I can hardly hear the filament dryer. I can hear basically a little bit of a fan noise, but my printers are much louder. So again, not, not annoying. So just gonna let this go, and then I'll come back after a while, and we'll just take a look at what the humidity, the final humidity is at after it's done going through a five hour cycle. So with that, I'll come back in a bit. So I'm back again, and as you can see, this has reduced the humidity in the filament dryer by over 30%. So that's pretty awesome. As I mentioned, it really did a, a nice job. It was very quiet. Feeling the outside of the container, it never feels uh, super hot. Feel very comfortable with this sitting around the house and using as is. Again, compact. I can run the filament out and print directly from this. I really like this filament dry box. I can't recommend it enough. This is going to be something that I'm adding my tools that I use regularly. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. 
If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.